What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute body weight boot camp. I'm so excited that you're here today and I'm ready for you, whatever your fitness level, to kind of scale this workout to be where you are today. Water and a sweat towel are gonna be the only things you need today aside from some optional sliders. You have something like this that will slide on the surface that you're working out on, or a sweat towel or something like that. They will be optional. You'll bring them in at the end of the workout, but if not, I'll let you know how to make it work without them. So let's go ahead and grab your water and your sweat towel and crush this workout. All right, let's step it out nice and wide. Reach your hips back and stand. Good warm up for the whole body, starting with the lower and working our way up. Pump that you're here today. Pump that all you need is your body weight. You can make this workout work wherever you are, whatever you've got. As long as you've got some space as big as a yoga mat, you've got everything you need. Last one, heels to glutes. Here we go. 30 seconds of work at a time today. Superset style, so two exercises, similar muscle group or part of the body. Go nice and wide and inside. You'll find as we go throughout the workout, it'll pretty much be stand up and cross. A lower body superset, then an upper body, then a core. But of course, you're always gonna be using a couple different muscles. You can't really isolate too much in a body weight workout. And I also like to keep it fun, so we'll have some good combos today. Three rounds of everything. Make sure you're present, make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing. You're breathing out to really feel the muscles work for you. Good, backward circles. Three. And we're gonna start off with my favorite body weight, upper body exercise, you can probably guess. Yes, it is inchworm push-ups, let's go. <laughs> Modify if you need to by walking out and then dropping to your knees. I like to think about screwing the palms of my hand into the floor as I push up. Good job, one more, two, and breathe. You're gonna stay down here on the floor, plank drop downs, or plank push ups, however you wanna say it. So high plank, you're going elbows, and then hands. Modify that by dropping to your knees. We go in three. Let's go. Try to put your hand right where your elbow is. So when you go down, make sure you're not then going into a really long plank. Come back with your hands under your shoulders. Good job, eight. Rest. All right, stand up, shake your arms out. Two more rounds of that same superset. You can make it your own. If you want to modify anything slightly, let's just keep going, all right? Three, two, here we go. Good work, you got 12. Every rep has a breath. Four. And rest, good job. Stand up, take some pressure off your arms, or just stand on your knees, sit on your knees. <laughs> Plank drop downs in five. Two, let's get it. Good job. Very important, don't lift your butt up and reach it back. And also don't extend your hands out here. Come on. Seven. Rest. Perfect. And we'll go one more round of those two. Then we'll move down to lower body. Doing good so far? All right. Here we go. Three, 
and walk it out. Last round. You're almost there, you're getting stronger. 10 seconds, breathe, think of your core. Last one, two. Good, stay right here. We'll finish a plank drop down and then we'll move on, all right? 30 seconds after this to grab water. All right, high plank, three, let's go. Good work. 17, 16. Let's go, arms. Yes, you can. Seven, six. Give me one more round. Three, two, and rest. Woo. Grab some water. Arms. Good warm up. Good start to the workout. We're going into a squat toe tap and then a squat hold. Yeah. All right. So, just like it sounds squat, toe tap. You can stand to make it low impact or you can jump if you are able. All right. Two, one, let's get it. Good. I like to take my other arm and kind of take it back so that my chest stays straight, hips stay straight, and I'm not so twisted. Good job, seven. Last one, and rest. Now, you can kind of tap in place if you want, and we'll go into a squat hold. If you have a wall to sit against, you can do a wall sit. All right, if not, hands behind your head. Two, one. There you go, whatever you do, keep your hips below your ribs on this one, okay? When you start to get tired, we start to wanna go here, and now we're just in kind of a half Romanian deadlift. Chest up, hips are under them. Heels are down, big toes down, pinky toes down. Three. Good job, rest. Two more rounds of that. If you wanna make that a little more intense. The squat jumps, as soon as you get down into that squat, explode up quickly. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, let's go. I see you working a little harder in round two. Good work. Nine. Oh yeah, come on, finish strong right here in five. Two, last one, rest. Good job, see how you can intensify things just a little bit. Maybe just the initiative of explosive nature. Squat jumps. All right, let's sit it down. Three. Here we go. If you're gonna bob side to side. You can. Whatever keeps your all 10 toes and heel down. Hips are below the chest. Breathing, core is engaged. Good. 10. Almost there. Five. Two, awesome, okay. One more round, shake the quads out. They're very strong, very strong, and we're just testing them here. Try to step it up. One more level from last round. Let's go. Drop your butt down, don't just bend over. Ooh, some people are like, excuse me, I've been seen. 
I did it on the first rep too, that's why I'm saying it. Let's go. 12, up. Eight, sit, explode. Six, two more. Three, two, one. There we go, quads. Now we sit it down and we stay there for 30. And then we'll have a 30 second rest to grab water. Exhale. Let's go. Great job. Sit, sit, sit. 14. Good, now can you drop your butt a little lower and chest comes up a little more. There we go, I know it burns. Stay here, five. A little lower, two, one, good. Rest. Then we go down to the floor for the next one. Grab your sweat towel. We got a single leg, sit up, and then leg raise, hip raise. Okay, 30 seconds, so you've got a chance to breathe. Not using your arms, not using your legs. All right, 15 seconds on this left leg. Two, one, come on. I'll tell you when to switch. And switch. Rest. Good job. Leg raise, hip raise. The point here is if I take my hips and I rotate them backwards, I'm fighting for this feeling. Keep it here, okay? If you don't do the hip raise, that's okay. If you need to go one leg, that's fine. Let's go. Don't let your belly go. When your legs go down, it's easy to get here. Exhale. Hips stay rolled back. Forced by the core. Rest. Good job. Two more rounds, same thing. Intensify this how you can. So maybe that top leg is here, bottom leg is here. Three. Exhale and go up. One more switch legs. That's it, nine, eight. Two, rest. Great work. Leg raise, hip raise. Remember, we fight for the posterior. Push the posterior. Staying here. Abs work hard to keep it here. Three. Two, one, come on. You got time, one more. Two, one, all right. One more round of those two. Single leg sit-ups, are you ready? Yes, here we go. Three, exhale. The closer your legs are to your hips, the more challenging this is. So if you wanna move everything a little further away, it will be a little easier to get up. One more, then switch legs. Let's go. Five. One more, two. 
rest. Last round, leg raise. As your legs are lowering, fight for this drawback, okay? Exhale before they go away from you. Three, two, exhale. Feel the difference? You got five. One more. And then one more if you got time. Rest. <sighs> Breathe. I know you're like, that is every single reason I hate personal trainers. You're done and then do another one. On to the next one though. We've got tricep push-ups to a pike. That one also modifiable just like your inchworm push-ups. So if you need to go to your knees at any point, that's okay. Elbows are nice and close. So think about breathing your elbows into your ribs. Hips go up, then they go down. Elbows glide past the ribs. Two. Yes, good work, you got four, two, one. Next one is pretty challenging. You're gonna see the up next window there. Modification for the bear crawl back fly is to keep your knees down, squeeze your arms back, or do a Superman. Okay, if you can't connect, Superman is fine. The objective is core and back, let's go. You feel your hips starting to shift up, or more than likely your belly reaching for the ground. Exhale. Six. Rest. Good job. That's a tough one because the back of the body is working for the fly, and then the front of the core is working to keep your hips level. So just think of this as a total thoracic cavity exercise. Pike to push up, go. Yes you can, you got 14, 13. Give me one more, four, three. Good. Bear crawl back fly. Think of everything from here to here, just protecting your spine. This is tight, this is flexed. Stay solid. Two, let's go. There's no rush on this one. As I lift my hips to take a little breather, exhale to come back down. Then you're already into it. Five. Rest. One more round of those two, and then you're done with your upper body, okay? We finished this one, we've got a lower body circuit, and we've got a slider core circuit. So you're very close, okay? Don't slow down now. Two, one, come on. Push the earth away from you, right? Get down there and say, get away, get away. Good, core stays strong. Six, five. Two, rest. One more round of bear crawl, back fly. You're doing good, proud of you. Okay, before we get our rest, one more round here. Two, 
One, go. If you're just flinging your arm back there, drop your knee down, squeeze your shoulder blade. Okay, then you feel it, then try to feel that exhale and lift your knees up and maintain that shoulder blade squeeze, just like you would for a weighted back fly. Come on, you got it. Three, two, rest. There we go, 30 seconds. You're breathing deep. We're going to legs, lower body. Reverse lunge to squat. So you'll step it back and then step it to the side. Pretty much staying low the whole time. Okay, if you wanna jump with that one, feel free. Two, one, come on. Good job. Rest. Now we're gonna travel. Feet are on top of the mat together. You jump off, set them down. And then back together, moving forward and backward. Ready? Yes, we are. Three, two. Same thing here as with your toe tap squats. Don't let your hips be the highest point. Or don't let your hips and your ribs be together. Ribs are over top. Good. Now let's move quicker with your feet. Good work. You got four. You got two more, ready? One and two, rest. Same thing, round two, you ready? Here we go. Three. Good, try to get down to where you can tap your knee on the ground if you're able. If you're not, just make sure Hips aren't up near the ribs. I know I keep saying that, but in a body weight exercise, rest, it's so important. Pop squats and we're traveling. Doing good. All right, let's go. Three, two, and jump and sit. Together, sit, good. Maybe you think about doing four trips down and back on your mat. Maybe that helps the time go by. We're over halfway there, so keep it up. Halfway there in this work period. Three. Rest. One more round. Through both of them. And then we finish with some core. Ready? Let's go. There you go, quads. I know you're working hard. And I know you got 45 seconds of work left in you. Okay, this round, and then our 30 second pop squats. And the legs can rest. Two, one, rest. For the most part. I think I'm breaking your trust today in a lot of different ways. For the most part, they will rest. We'll be focused on mainly the core in the last super set. Finish your pop squats, let's go. Good, can you give me a little more speed with your feet this time? 
in and out a little quicker. Ready? 15, come on. There you go. Nine. Foot speed, five, four, two, and breathe. We're going down to the floor. Grab your sliders, okay? Slider pike, that's gonna be for your core. You're in a plank, and then you lift your feet up. If you don't have a slider, you're gonna go plank, and either hop or step up to a pike, okay? If you have your sliders, go ahead and grab them. We'll start there. And then your second exercise will involve a sit-up. Let's go. Good work, you got 12, 11. One more, two, rest. Now flip it right over. Back goes where your hands were, okay? You're gonna go sit up for one and then hamstring curl. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Here, out, curl, back in. This one's tough, so. If you need to modify it, you go sit up, hamstring curl in, okay? At the same time. But if you can, try and keep them separate. Two, rest. Flip it back over for the pike. And those are your last two moves. As always, if you need to modify something, just make it work and keep rocking. Ready, go. Don't let yourself fade back to where your sliders are going. If you get that, weight will transfer this way and it'll be a lot harder to maintain the plank to lift your hips up. Keep all the weight right here. Even as your feet go away, you look back at your thumbs, keep it up here. Four. Rest. <sighs> Hamstrings. We're back to you. <sighs> Three. Let's go. <sighs> one curl, one sit up. Good job, 12. Three. Rest. Last round of both. You gotta give me everything here, okay? All you've got, five seconds. Two, one, come on. Good job, last half, come on. Six, five. One more and flip it over. Whew. Last one here, 30 seconds. And if you had trouble connecting with this one, just give me setups, okay? Go hard to the end. Let's go.
<laughs> and you have made it to your cool down. Bodyweight boot camp in the books. Whew. Come on up to standing. Good work today. Before you leave, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, comment that you crushed it, tell someone right above you that they did a great job too. It's important to connect with your community and something that you're working really hard on, okay? Push, and then push it back. As you work hard in these workouts, one of the most important things is you know they're contributing to your best life and you're not alone. So yes, I can confirm whatever you did today. Very beneficial for you, okay? Cross your arm over your chest. It is contributing to your best life because when you leave here, you're more likely to make good decisions for your nutrition. You're more likely to drink water. I need you to do more of that. And you're more likely to think about, okay, if I wanna feel like this for my workout tomorrow, I need to get to sleep. You're just more likely to make decisions that support this going well if you give yourself the chance to start the workout and get to this feeling. A lot of people mess up where they don't even give them chance, themselves a chance to start the workout and then feel this feeling right here. You're proud, you're done, you're sweaty, you feel motivated by starting the action, okay? Don't wait on the motivation to start the action. Be motivated by starting the action. It's so, so common that we wait for the mood, for the right time, for something to line up, for it to feel a little bit easier to start when we will not get motivated by anything more than actually starting. So step up to the plate today and make sure in some way you're taking advantage of a situation where you're not necessarily motivated or you don't feel completely ready, but you start in action. Not thoughts, not plans, not to-do lists, not goals, action, okay? Cook the food, eat the food that you're cooking, get your water bottle full, go to the workout and just press start. Put your clothes on, okay? Whatever it is that you need to do, start moving and you will be motivated by that instead of vice versa. I'll see you back here for the next workout. Give this video a big thumbs up, like I said, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you're sharing it with your friends. I love you guys, and I'll see you back here for the next one.